Hi my friend, welcome to the first video in this masterclass, a very big series about how to test electronic component using the multimeter. So guys, I'm going to pass through all those components, of course, outside the board and also we're gonna deal with components here also inside the board we're gonna test it here here so every video will be special for one component so guys make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon and stay tuned because i going to upload every day in a daily basis one or or even two videos about how to test components today we're gonna begin with fuses let's find out guys here we have good fuses and bad ones let's find out using the multimeter let's get started so guys to test the fuse of course we have to select the continuity option here in the multimeter okay or the ohm option so let's test the fuse for beginner we gonna use the continuity option and also we gonna check fuses using the ohm option just to see the difference and of course guys i'm going to test the fuse here okay and also test it here in the board as you can see my friends here in the board and just to know what is the difference between a connected fuse and an outside fuse okay so let's get started my friends so let's begin with this one for example okay this fuse here simple one probe here in the side basically the fuse has two terminals the second here we get zero about zero one this is good this is a good fuse if we go guys if you go to the arm option let's find out by selecting arm option okay using the arm option let's find out about one volt two volts like this okay we have four three about three or even two okay so three arm okay my friend for the arm option okay this one is good one let's put it here this is a good fuse here okay let's go and select continue to option let's just use continue to option this one is good let's find out of course this one is bad one let it until the end i'm going also guys to show you how to replace it if you get a, a failed one how to know the good fuse that you have to use so one probe here the second probe here guys nothing let's check okay nothing guys this is a bad one this one is bad so in this case for this fuse guys we have to go and see its characteristics in order to replace it with another one so let's guys let's look to its characteristics okay let me focus zoom a little bit to see the characteristics okay guys so we have here okay do you see guys we have two amps do you see guys two a okay two a means two amps and we have 250 volt okay 250 volt and we have of course here two amps okay guys so for this one here just stay tuned i know that the fuse is easy to test but there is something that you have to know guys okay for this one let me grab a paper okay my friend for this fuse here my friend we have two amps okay and 250 volts so basically to change this one you have to look for another fuse with the same characteristics or of course this two amps is the maximum here here guys this is max the maximum current and over here also this is the maximum voltage but never use a fuse for example with one amps okay even if this is the maximum the maximum current never use one amps or even 1.5 amps for example or use here 210 volt no this is wrong my friends always stick to this characteristic in the same time in the other hand guys don't use three amps for example 
Uh, this one is 2 amps. I will use 3 amps to make the interval wide. No, guys, this is wrong. If you use 3 amps, you will damage the output. Okay? Okay. Here we have the fuse, guys. This is basically the symbol for the fuse. Look here, my friend. We have F1 fuse. Do you see the symbol? This is a connected fuse. We're gonna test it. So here, guys, this is a 2 amps fuse. Exactly this one here. And for example, here we have a device in the output. Let's say, for example, we have a TV, for example. If you use 3 amps, for example, just example, rather than 2 amps, you can damage the TV or any device we have here. So guys, always stick to the characteristics. For this fuse, we have 2 amps, 250 volts. We have to replace it with another fuse with the same characteristics. Okay, nice. So this one, this is a bad one. Put it here. The bad one in the side and the good one in the side. Okay, my friends. So let's check again using the same working principle of course for this one of course you see guys we have burn it is burned if we check it of course nothing in the multimeter okay let's find out also for this one its characteristics you see guys we have three amps okay three amps 250 volts okay three amps 250 volts so for this one three amps 250 volts it's not like this one. This one 2 amps, this one 3 amps. Same working principle. This one should be replaced with another fuse with the same characteristics. This one is bad one. Put it here. Okay. Let's check these two guys and then pass to the board. Okay. Let's check this one here. Okay. Just do like this. Good. Amazing. Good one. This is good one. Guys, let's pass to the arm mode and check if we can find 3 arm or 2 arm. We have 4, 3. Okay, 3.1, 2.87. Okay, so this is good one. Here. Okay, my friends, the last one. One probe here, the other probe here. Nothing, check. Nothing guys, nothing check. Okay, nothing. Bad one also. This one also is bad. Guys, let's find out its characteristics. Oh guys, eight amps. Eight amps my friend. Do you see? I have here eight. Eight amps 250 volt. Do you see guys? Eight amps. So my friends, pay attention. If you remember, guys, this one we have. This one we have two amps, okay. This one, this one here in the right, two amps. This one eight amps. Do you see? The same. Do you see, my friend? Same size. Okay. Let's see. As you can see, guys. Okay. Do you see, my friend? Here in the right, we have two amps. This one, but this one we have eight amps. Oh, but the same size my friend never do this guys the same size do you see same size but this one two amps this one eight amps so if you find for example this one bad and find this one and replace this one replace this one two amps by eight amps without paying attention to characteristics 100 percent uh, Sorry, not 100, but 1000 percent. You will burn out the output, the charge, the device in the out output. It could be television, it, it could be radio, anything. So, guys, always pay attention, my friends, to characteristics. Okay, never for fuses, never refer to size. Okay, and we have the proof here this one, two amps, this one, eight amps. Okay, now my friends, let's go directly and check the fuses directly on the board. For example, for this one here, let's check it using the arm. Okay, let's remove those hair. Let's select arm mode in the multimeter and check if 
do uh, the reading is the same or not about two ohm three ohm let's check my friend okay 2.6 2.5 2.3 good so the same let's check another board so guys this one in here so guys always where you get a dead board or a failed board you have always to check the fuse first let's check this one okay 2.3 good the same reading guys pay attention guys to characteristics of this fuse over here do you see we have 15 amps do you see 15 amps 250 volt 15 guys do you see 15 and this one this one guys with 2 amps do you see guys this one with 2 amps are do you see the same size about the same size but when 2 amps this one 15 so guys always pay attention to characteristics please if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like my friends like and share the video with other friends in order to help the channel okay nice what about this one my friend here this is for example for, this is basically a rotor motherboard do you see this one okay what about this one let's check using always the on mode let's check my friend so 3 2.6 2.3 good the same reading so we know right now that the reading up for the fuse is the same outside the board and also inside the board okay so the testing here on the board and outside the board gives the same reading this is for big guys here we have a very special fuse here my friends in this board let's check it this is basically a fuse here let's check it let's go to the back here we have two terminals my friends here let's check this fuse also it's special but let's find out okay how many ohm Oh, I have nothing. Nothing here means the fuse is the bad one here in this board. Okay, that's why, guys. I told you, my friend, always began by checking the fuse. And by the way, my friend, if you focus here, my friend, I have two on. You see, I have here two on. And even here, my friend, you see, we have here two point two on. Two point two on. So this is do uh, resistance or the reading for a fuse 2.0 ohm in the board and also outside the board guys that's why fuses are very important in any motherboard when you get a failed motherboard always began by checking the fuse here basically we have the fuse capacitors electromagnetic filter we have four diodes for bridge rectifier okay you can find basically diode like this for diodes or you can just find a bridge like this one i'm going also to test you to to show you and teach you guys how to test the bridge rectifier everything guys i'm going to teach you every component that you can imagine in electronics just stay tuned subscribe hit the bell icon and stay tuned because every day in a daily basis i'm going to upload videos about testing one electronic each time so guys thank you very much i hope that you understand how to test fuses in the board or on the board and outside the board guys please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon and for anyone who want to access learning you can join me in my patreon page check my website join my facebook group you are very welcome so thank you very much and see you with another component